Hello, this is Dean Graziosi. Welcome back to the weekly blog. If this is your first time here, make sure you check these out. I take the time every week to do a personal message to my students, to people that are looking for a new way to make money or maybe enhance the way they already know how to do with real estate. So if you'd like, if this is the first one you've ever seen and you like it, you can click on the links to this side of me and somewhere it says weekly blogs and you can look at the last, I think this is number 19. So check them out. Okay, today I want to talk about something really simple. You know, I wore a shirt today that shows this necklace that I have on with this ring around my neck. Usually you don't see it unbuttoned up, but you can see it today. So I want to talk about this ring on my necklace. Why? Because it's really important to me. This ring on my necklace was my grandmother's wedding ring that she had on her hand for 60 years. And my grandmother, my parents split when I was three. And if you read my book, Totally Fulfilled, I dedicated that book to her. My grandma was always there. She was the, the anchor or the stability in my life always. My parents split when I was three. They went off and did certain things. And I had stepbrothers and sisters and stepmoms and stepdads and all that stuff. But my grandmother was always there. But more important than her just being there, my grandmother was the first person in life to make me realize that anything was possible. She was that little voice that I hope to be for you, that she always said, Dean, there's nothing you can't do. If you want it, just go get it. And here's a woman who quit school in seventh grade because her parents died. She had to quit school to raise her four younger siblings, put through a lot of tough times in her life. My grandfather died 20 years prior to her death but never a negative note, never told me the world was flat and terrible and the glass was half full. She always talked about the abundance that could be there for me. And you know, one of the things she also said was, don't worry or stress about the things you can't change. I lived with her in high school and I'd get a bad grade and come home and be really upset about it. And she said, can you take that test over? And I said, no. She says, well, then you just need to get a really good grade on the next one. You know, and that was just, I didn't realize it was setting a tone for my whole life. But here's why I tell you this today. So many things in today's world can get us off track. And, and you know that to be true. You might read some of my book or read the posts on this site and go, I'm going to do real estate. And all of a sudden you get sucked back into your regular life. But let me just tell you, that happens to me all the time. And what do I use this ring for? When I touch this ring or look at it, or I look in the mirror in the morning when I get out of the shower and I see this, it inspires me not to let her down. My grandmother had such high hopes for me. I wish, I know she's shining down from heaven and she sees what I do, but I wish she could be here to see some of it, but I don't want to let her down. So what I want you to do is find something that symbolizes somebody you don't want to let down. I have another good friend who takes a picture of his kids and every time he gets a really tough time in life or he gets punched in the face and, and kicked down and it looks like he should just go back to what's normal and not step out for what's different and more for him and his family, he pulls the picture out of his wallet and he stares at his kids and he says, are they worth it? He says he gets goosebumps and he goes about it and he goes steadfast in the direction he knows it can change his life. So my challenge for this week is find something like this ring, what it means to me, find a picture of your family, find anything that reminds you of people that is that are worth your time, worth your energy, worth your efforts, worth when people tell you you're not gonna make it or tell you people tell you real estate won't work or the naysayers or the media. And when you get discouraged, I want you to find something that gives you goosebumps that you can look at and you can say, are they worth it? Is this situation worth it? Is this opportunity worth me going forward? I'd bet to say it is. Find that item, that ring, that picture, the something out of a magazine or the look on your family member's face and use that as your inspiration to get through the tough times so you can get to the place in life that you deserve. You know how many people are on this site right now that were frustrated, scared, didn't know if it could work, took action, changed their lives forever. You need that to be you so you can come back to this site and share the success you've had to inspire others. I'm Dean Graziosi. Thanks for listening to my weekly blog. I'll see you next week.